Hey guys and welcome to a Kano special featuring the recently patented ultra rapid air vehicle and related method for aerial locomotion. The patent was registered by Airbus Defense and Space, the guys behind Adeline. It describes a supersonic jet which will be able to transport small payloads up to 3 tons at almost hypersonic speeds. In the front sits the cockpit with a passenger or cargo module. Right behind it are the fuel tanks including hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen? Yes, unlike any other plane, it uses three different types of engines, from which one is a rocket motor. It is mounted on the back, as you can see here, although the real one is hidden behind doors. Attached at the bottom are regular jet engines, and the delta-shaped wings are installed right at the top. Such a delta wing shape was also used by the famous Concorde. Below the wings sit the ramjet motors. These rely on supersonic speed, because they don't use fans to compress the intake air, like regular engines do. The little winglets at the side rotate from the horizontal position to such a vertical, increasing the plane's stability at high speeds. Ok, let's fly that beast. The jet engines help us lift off and bring the jet at altitudes where regular planes operate. At this point the door in the back opens and the rocket engine ignites. The plane raises its nose for a steep inclination. This is done to avoid the sonic boom from traveling to the ground at such low altitudes. Instead, it's pressed almost horizontally. This was a major downside of the retired Concorde, which only allowed supersonic flight above the oceans. At some point, the ramjets will ignite and catapult the jet to speeds exceeding Mach 4 at an altitude of roughly 30 to 35 kilometers. These take advantage of the high velocity, which compresses the air by amounts needed to gain a net thrust after ignition. Without these conditions, the engine would just burn like an expensive candle. The plane at supersonic speeds drags such a cone with it. This is the so-called sonic boom. One can hear it when hit by it. The cone shape can easily be calculated by the speed of the craft and the speed of sound at which the air pressure can escape to the sides. The faster it goes, the sharper the angle. According to the paper, these will range between 11 and 15 degrees. In a worst case scenario, at an altitude of 30 km and an angle of 50 degrees, the room the sonic boom had to dissipate would measure a distance of roughly 115 km. This is of course by far more space the Concorde sonic boom had. The maximum range of such a jet is estimated to be around 9000 km and it most likely won't be in reach for the general public due to the rather high costs. It could be used to deliver time critical cargo like military or medical equipment. Having reached the destination the ramjets will shut off and after having slowed down the regular jet engines are ignited again and the plane will join the regular traffic to the airport. In KSP there is no airport beyond the ocean but the craft is still maneuverable enough to land on such a bumpy track. So what do you think about this patent? Is such a fast plane necessary and will Airbus attempt to build it? Please share your thoughts about it. Ok, that's it for this episode and I hope to see you in the next one if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.